And that meeting took place in Ekaterinburg, the Russia's fourth largest city. And it's located east of the Ural Mountains. It also happens to be where the country struck gold. For more, here's National Geographic reporter Sergei Gordeyev with Exploring Russia, presented by American Express. Gold is the most powerful metal on Earth, and Russia is one of the world's leading suppliers of it. It all began in 1745, when a peasant named Yerofey Markov, while looking for crystal, found something else, a tiny gold speck inside a piece of quartz. His discovery changed the history of Russia and the world. Three years after Markov found the first gold in Russia, mines like these popped up all over this region. It was grueling work. To get an ounce of gold, miners had to cut, grind, and wash more than seven tons of raw ore. For the next 66 years, this was the only way to extract gold in Russia until Leo Brusnitsyn made a revolutionary discovery. A son of a gold miner, Brusnitsyn discovered that gold flecks also existed in the sediment of local riverbeds. He then developed an ingenious panning technique based on a simple principle. Gold is heavier than rock and sand, and if washed properly, it will sink to the bottom of a pan. Oh. Yeah. By 1816, only two years later, half of all gold in Russia was obtained using Brusnitsyn's method. And because it was now accessible to everyone, people from all over Russia flocked here to get rich quick. And so the Russian gold rush began. It wasn't long before Brusnitsyn's method caught on around the world. In 1848, gold was discovered at Sutter's Mill in California, and Russian teams even came out to teach the Americans how to pan for it. So you could say that without the Russian gold rush, the American gold rush might never have happened. That little tidbit, Sergey and our good friends at National Geographic are going to be with us throughout this World Cup. Some of their upcoming features include a focus on space rockets in Samara and also folk art in Nizhny Novgorod. In that city, the site for Switzerland's meeting with Costa Rica earlier, the Swiss forced to settle for a 